Hi, thanks for having me to present my speech tonight, but I'm so stressed out right now that I'll have to do another thing instead. So I'm heading out for a six week vacation to Latin America and being in such an exotic place for the first time, I have no idea what to pack with me. So here's my bag. Let's pack this together, okay? Um, gentlemen in the front, what would be the first thing you would put into the bag? Good shoes. Good shoes, okay. Couple of them, great. Now, raise those shoes up on your hand and throw them into the bag. Not literally. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next, uh, lady in the front, what would be your thing to put into the bag? T-shirt, great choice. That's a good start. Now throw it in the bag. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of things in that dangerous Latin America. To make this faster, everybody think of an object, and at the count of three, you will throw it into my bag, okay? So. Three, two, one, go, 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 thank you. Oh, that's heavy, okay. We've got to have everything we need. Let's see. Nice, okay. Uh, dozens of pairs of shoes. Yeah, uh, three week worth of emergency food supplies and the complete collection of How I Met Your Mother DVD set. Everything I need for a vacation. Right? Right? We've all been there. Packing all those. I might need these things until our bags ripped from its seams. My most recent case was this exact trip to Latin America six months ago, until destiny decided to join in when I broke my back in a basketball game. I was terrified. How could I get on with my trip? I mean, my back can't carry this bag around anymore. I'll have to come up with a solution fast, or I'll just have to give up on my adventure. Um, what should I do? I don't know, should I get a roller bag? Oh, no, that's too clumsy. <laughs> I don't know, uh, should I adopt an alpaca to carry my gear around? Ah, that's stupid. Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna leave without any stuff at all. Any stuff at all? Hmm. After hours of research, inspired by a group of minimalist travelers, I set foot on my journey, wearing nothing but this. The good old fanny pack. I had carefully selected these 30 items to carry with me. Some of you think I'm a little bit crazy. People thought it would be impossible. <sighs> yes, I was scared, but excited. Originally a problem, it had turned into a personal challenge. Passport, wallet, toothbrush, among a few other things. I traveled alone from Chile to Colombia, saw the world marvel Machu Picchu, swam with giant turtles, and danced salsa till early morning. <clears throat> Now you ask me, how did I manage with such few things? Well, antibacterial marinable clothing, accepting the fact that you'll be wearing the exact same clothes day to day for six weeks, and uh, a pinch of creativity. To wash my clothes, I showered myself with my clothes on and let them dry by my bed overnight. Unfortunately, my pants wouldn't really dry, so the next morning I'd have to wear my jacket as a skirt. <laughs> Might sound a little extreme to some, but on the other hand, I was as agile as ever. Every morning I got up, dressed my naked body, and rushed off into new adventures with no holdbacks. Flying back to Finland, I questioned myself, how could I grasp these sensations of happiness and freedom? <laughs> Back at home as well. You see, possessing material comes at a cost. Imagine that the average three bedroom apartment in Finland holds the number of 12,000 objects. 
12,000 objects to worry about storing, being broken, your children choking on them, all kinds of yearly maintenance and insurances. On my trip, I had 30. That's less than a percent of the things. Less than a percent of the worry. Breaking my back forced me to stop and rethink my relationship with material. Today, I have donated away the majority of my possession, cleaned up my calendar, and only kept the necessary. I've created myself space and time to enjoy life again. Now. What's in the back today? There's definitely something inside. Let's take a close look. Hold on. Looks like I got everything. All I need, I carry in me. Thank you.